and nobody complained. Some people Not a single can, uh, person complained. Some people can call it mic spamming. That's what I'm saying. Not a single person complained about it. On, on, on the text chat or in the voice chat. So I don't There's think one good. guy who, uh, who likes to report a lot. I don't really know if there's someone who likes to report. It's me. I'm the guy. Famous, famous anus, that's right. I haven't seen him at all. He's usually on pretty often. Doesn't he chill though? Nice. Is he nice. on his anus? Nice. 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 No, he doesn't. But I'm surprised he's never been reported before from like some new player who's like, I'm sick of this. Right, it's just like, I don't, I don't like this guy who keeps saying dumpers and makes like, like well, that diarrhea noises. Uh, Actually, Beavis muted him because of the staff. I don't know. remember the... <laughs> He just he muted was everybody. Uh, opened his mouth. Yeah, I muted too. And he muted, he muted me too. I never got muted by him, but he, he muted. He said he muted like seven How could you not get seven. muted? If he muted me, for heaven's sake. I baited him. That was the thing. Oh, okay. I baited him. He said he muted like 80% of the server. And, uh, That's true. That's true. Okay, let's, let's try not to. <laughs> what happened to Beavis? He just comes playing. around every once in a while. What happened to Anus? He's on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. I mean, Anus would have loved my well, conversation I had on the server uh, uh, two days ago where I was talking about my hemorrhoids. He would have loved that. Okay, let's finish it, guys. Let's finish it. If there's nothing up, nothing up. Fuck it. Come on, finish it. Oh, finish I hope it. We, we have another Uber. Server. We have another blue Uber. Finish yeah, it. you fucked. I just told Venus didn't leave the server. Oh, almost. I got two hits in. Damn. Thank you, Lord. I tried. Thank you. That was an imitation, I know. It was, that, that was, was me. Home. Evening, don't bruise. <laughs> but I'm just surprised on the forums. I always think that someone's gonna report him for the hell of it, just saying he spams it. I used to have one. You know, it's actually been a while since I've been like a squeaky little you know? He has no guns. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Chris, can you not surf my rockets? Like, it's been a while my... since I've heard, like, uh... Hello, heard a what? Hold on, hold on. There's this one guy who all he does is soundboards. His name is, like, G-Man, sir, or something. Oh, yeah! I know that guy. He has, he has a really funny one that goes like, No! <laughs> That he talks in soundboard. That's his voice. The only sound effect I have is a cow mooing, but that's only if Moo Cow Ribs is on. He, he sometimes is on. Show? Oh, man, it's a bullshit. <laughs> it's Blackjack! <laughs> What's good, my G? I only have so, like two more stickies and no pipes when I got there. So, Blackjack, you can finally tell me what, what People, happened. You why, is my, why is my check engine light off now? They probably cleared the code. That or um, the sensors why just dirty and it's an intermittent failure. Uh, oh, oh, you know what? Uh, one of the biggest no, causes of the check engine light is your gas tank uh, cap not being closed all the way. Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, no, no, yeah, I got the code and everything. It was, a, it was an air it's fuel a, a, thing. 
Yeah, there's a, a sensor that check that uh, measures the air fuel ratio, and it was probably and, dirty or the was not functioning properly. Yeah, they said it if was it, uh, it was near failure, and it was reading some it was at high RPMs. It was reading just Nissan things. At high RPMs, it was reading false. Completely. That's what they were saying. Okay, we'll stop ragging on the fucking car. I'm just joshing you, dude. What? So they basically said I need to replace it, and I was gonna have to pay like 800 bucks, and I told them no. I get my what car. What are you driving? A Sentra? What year? Oh, fuck you. Can you not do that? Like, I'm trying to Come on, the car. Well, they actually, I did get the inspection. They did say my transmission looks great, so I'm relieved about that, because I know the two. Okay, let's finish it. God, oh, oh, oh I got sniped. Break. Damn it. CBT transmission. Let's finish it. We're so close. We're so close. We are close. Anus has some good sound effects. He has the, I call it the Pizza Hut bathroom one. He has the loud one. Oh, yeah. one. <laughs> All right. You got an O2 sensor going bad. That's not uncommon. What? Yeah, it's an O2 sensor. It's on the exhaust. So why did the light go off? Uh, they either cleared the code oh, or it's an in intermittent corner, failure. Back left corner. So what, is an inter what do you mean intermittent failure? That just means it fails yeah. from time to time, but then it, oh, it, it works well, again for a short bit. Oh, it I, could I, be something as simple as it being dirty. I heard intermediate. I didn't hear intermediate. Oh, God. It's down. The one on the back left well, you, sentry is down, you, you, but they're going to redo it for the other God damn it. So... But the, that sensor is incredibly isn't... intoxicated right now. Apologies. Hell yeah, so that brother. sensor. Hey. Uh... Dude, no time to run. Wait, you were on a work call intoxicated? Yeah, I was on the well, call. They, was yeah. What the hell kind of company on? is this? It's Jimmy Lou. They weren't planning on talking to all these places. places. I wasn't talking yeah, to Corporate. They, they, they called him out of the blue. It's not like he had a planned call. Last night we were having a discussion about Jimmy Lou's not the best. Yeah, so the, the fucking general manager lives in an apartment complex and he's got bed bugs. So, uh, instead of, he took a day off, had the Dude, Yeti, come exterminator on. come out and take a look, and instead of making a rational decision or even taking a day to think about it, he's deciding to move to Oregon. Out of the blue. So, what? we, we are losing our general manager bugs? in 10 days. I can go to the damn Super 8 down the street and find bed bugs. It's not like I have to move out of the city. Yeah, no, he's a fucking idiot. I cannot take this telly. Oh my god. Or maybe he's, he's just trying to leave in bed bugs. I can't take this telly. <laughs> maybe the bed bugs are infecting him. Maybe. Clouding his mind. Wait, Blackjack, we gotta finish this conversation. So that sensor doesn't affect the car, though. Like, at all. Um, it's gonna run slightly worse and use more gas. That's about it. Yeah, I don't it. care about it. I mean, fuel still... efficiency. I would still get it fixed if you can figure it out. Probably not very expensive, honestly. Those two sensors usually are too much. I'm literally cheap. only gonna get it fixed if the light comes back on. I would still get it fixed. How do I know it wasn't fixed? What? If the light is off, how do I know it wasn't just dirty or something? Well, they would have told you if they pulled it and cleaned it or something. They gave you a code to replace it, so they were planning on replacing it. I don't know why they'd clean it if they wanted to fix it. Why would they clean it? Yeah, I don't think... They cleaned it. That's the Sometimes thing. they get dirty, but it could just be failing. They said it was near failure. Oh, that's dealership speak for we want your money and we want it now. Oh, so call it was around. Real word. Call around oh. to some independent shops and tell them what car you have, how many, how many miles on it, tell them the code and what the dealership told you. I don't have a code. The light Did is gone. You send me a code. In the Steam chat, it's gonna be the same code if it comes back. Yeah, but if it comes back, I'll get it fixed. Dude, how are you alive? I would, I, I oh would do gosh, your due diligence and get it looked into you before it comes you? back. Oh, you're saying I gotta get it looked into? I would get it looked into either way, because you don't want to let things like that go. You let but things it, it doesn't go, affect the car. It can. Well, how? It just is fuel efficiency. Because if it runs... If it burns more gas, shoot more gas into the intake. Um, so you're gonna result in more carbon deposits and other stuff exactly. in the Exactly, thank you. 
Thank you, Pro. 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 How do you say? What did he say? He interrupted you. Procyon. Procyon. All right, that's what I thought. I, I, right, what I did have he a, say? The autism and language is hard. Um, All right, Blackjack. Procyon check. was saying, um, it, it, yeah. carbon deposits. For example, dumping a bunch of extra gas down the intake clogs the cats. Then you gotta replace the catalytic converter, which is a fucking four-figure job. Hey, dude, Blackjack, hey, why don't you become an ASC certified mechanic? They make like a hundred dollars an hour, man. Because I have to pay money to get ASC certification, and I already know how to do the work that they want to teach. Yeah, catalytic converters hurt. You make a hundred dollars an hour. Yeah, it depends on the cat. Yeah, if, if it's a Persian, it's they're the kind of sussy. If it's an American short hair, they're they're pretty temperate. Five, four, three. What's funny is that yeah, like I, I ran the OBT D2 scanner in my car today after the, the O2. I mean, after the check engine light came on, and it was also an O2 error. Yeah. What the fuck? They told me the dealership it wouldn't affect my car. It was just a fuel efficiency. They're shitheads that don't know what the fuck they're doing. My job done. But if, why would they tell me that? If they wanted to take my money, why would they have, why would they have told me they want to take the money? Because they're dumbasses. Well, the, the idea also to like, watch that thing, you're gonna get it to be the problem, it's, so aggressive. it's becoming worse and you gotta pay more for it later down the line. Well, that's true, but I'm... That's but why you don't let things like that go. Well, the thing is, is they knew I was moving the use of the money, so they weren't expecting me back. Yeah, well... I love you. It's flying about. Oh, fuck. Got him. Thank you. So, I'll drink uh, to that. All I know is the light is off. My car is feeling good. I would still get it looked into and fixed. Well, you ain't too far. Do but it. according to my dashboard, it looks like there's nothing wrong. Well, that's because they can reset the thing and, uh, that's probably what they did. Yeah, they, they can wipe the code. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and they're coming, they're coming from the, they're coming from the, blown back, blown back. They're coming. they're coming from inside the computer. They're inside the house. They're calling from inside the house. Why the hell would they wipe the code? Because they probably didn't want you to come back being like, Um, excuse yeah. me, you didn't wipe the code off my dashboard. You know? yeah, they, 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 they can clear all the codes, or they can not clear the codes after they read them. Oh. The gap that I have with the scanner that I have can, can don't reset heal them me. as well. So it'll oh, probably come oh, back. So again. you're saying the issue's still there. It, it's probably still there. It'll come back once, once it detects More the issue. More likely. I'll, I'll give you a little anecdote, American Airline. My uh, 91 Ford has a split right in front of the O2 sensor, so that it's constantly sucking fresh air into the exhaust from the O2 sensor. I'd say maybe a fifth of the time the check engine oh, light is on for the O2 fucker. sensor. Oh really? So don't don't consider the light being off as an indicator that nothing's wrong. Well, they said it could turn off and on. Yeah, it's probably it, it, it's uh what happens is they get dirty and the O2 sensors read how to put it. They measure resistance to give you they give the computer whatever signal it wants. So like, yeah, and if it's dirty, cool. the resistance could fall outside of the values it's supposed to be. Sometimes, but not all the time. Essentially. So why didn't they just clean it? So it did it How did that medic not die? Uh, probably have to pay him to clean it. And you probably still have to get it replaced in the future anyways. I just want to make sure that this whole replacement shit... Come, 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 What's good? I just want to make sure that the replacement shit is not a, a skin and actually needs to be replaced. It's more than likely it needs to get replaced. Nice. And again, Thank you. call around to the shops and tell them what you told me and us and see what they say. I'm not going to be fucking you. Power. Thank you. They'll Bring probably the charge car. you less than eight hundred fucking dollars. I want to pay like, I'll pay like fifty bucks. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. The part alone is like a hundred bucks. If I had to guess. I'll just keep this going back. Keep it going back. Keep it going back. Damn it! I mean, what the fuck is spike touching? It's not a bad thing to do. The spike has got past me. Do you have a jack? What? 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 No, I can't fix my. I wanted to go down the hill. 
go to O'Reilly's or AutoZone or wherever, oh, get their kit, oh, which is a little O'Reilly. jack with two jack stands. O'Reilly. Jack the car up, find out where the O2 sensor is, buy one place, probably need a special uh, socket, and have a match it. Yeah, <laughs> I can do it. It's probably one of the easiest things on the car you can replace. But Blackjack, so, wait, wait, okay, I'm gonna drop the most important question of the night, Blackjack. Are, are you the GM now? The important thing is that they said my transmission works fine. Yeah, so you're okay. As long as that fucking CBT is, is good, I'm fine. It'll be good for a while yet. I don't know. Hey, hey. Dance with me, dance with me, don't kill me. If you take care of the fully flushed, it should last a pretty long time. Yeah, that, that's what she's thinking, and I hold on to that. Uh, what do you mean, wishful fucking thinking? Uh, wishful thinking, the CBT. Our Garbo! Now let me tell you something about that, and you, you all you car people. If the CBT is really that big of an issue, police are really throwing time to arrest you for this. And you're saying there'd be fucking cars going, blowing transmissions left and right. Yeah, who has a CBT? Why would anybody buy a car with a CBT? Why does it hate the fucking CBT so much? I have it's a piece of shit. Everyone knows the CBTs are a piece of shit. Spy sniper. Everybody. Why would people buy rogues if the CBTs were a piece of shit? People bought them before they knew they were a piece of shit. Most of the population's not mechanically inclined? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna... That's why you're asking us. In Houston, uh, I'm going to... Uh, this is a 2015 war. So it might be one of the better builds. Yeah, I mean, it still has a recall on it. Well, not a recall, it still has a notice. Yeah, but Wait, man, are we gonna see on the news now that an anti battle about recall? We're gonna see on the news now that Jiggly Dude is going bankrupt because wasn't the FTX guy like playing League of Legends while he was on a call? No way. And then they went bankrupt. Now Jiggly Dude's gonna go bankrupt because Blackjack was. Playing TF2 while he was on a call. Good uh, fucking uh, friends, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> How could they go back up anyway when they charge $70 for something else? Because they're fucking stupid. They don't know how to run a fucking company. One of the wheels fell off our fucking garage door, and our fucking district manager said, lol, don't worry about it. Just watch out if it falls. Watch out if it falls. That's crazy. I am being completely fucking serious right now. That is an we had an issue, man. The uh, another store in our district had a water main burst in the ceiling over the freeze we had and the dude jumped up in the attic and hopped up and down on the plywood and said, oh yeah, this drywall is in good shape. I think the store is fine. Uh, yeah. Dude's a fucking know. idiot. You told me that all your new hirees don't get evaluated or anything and that's a big no-no for me. I mean, at our store, what? personally, we give a quarter shit about the people that we hire, but on a whole, yeah, just the entire people off the street. Like, the the, 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 uh, the, the store, aforementioned store that had the water main burst, they hired a meth head. A known meth head. We joked about this guy. So oh, this guy went across the street from our store, walking around, no shoes on, fucking pistol on his hip. And this fucking idiot GM at the other store goes, Oh, he'd be a great guy to fucking hire. He lasts in three days. That's why I go to the place and do the oil changes. That's why I go to the dealer for that shit. I understand your sentiment there. It's actually the same price at the dealer for the oil change. Yeah, it's the same price at the dealer, because they don't charge you the normal uh, rate. And I get the free coffee and all that shit. Yeah, then you get a free car wash, you get the free coffee. Oh, yeah, you get all that free stuff there. I will say, if you have service warranty on your car, it is really nice. 
Yeah, I don't have warrant. That was a huge display of skill right there. I don't have warrant. Yeah, I'm probably going to uh, sell my car, you know, once I get I mean, if, if you, if you no. have a... Like a decent car that you want to have the records of too. That if you if you take it to the dealer for the service, every little records will be in Carfax. It may increase the value of your vehicle. Thank you, Wiener. Uh, I'm probably selling my car, you know, after a couple months in Houston, you know, before the CBT goes out, like Blackjack says. He got at least five years yet. Wait, did you say five years? Yeah, they start to go like a buck fifty, so sell yeah. to the buck twenty. CVT transmissions don't last very long. How long do they? How many miles do they? 